I'm doing a get ready with me today using our drugstore. I have already started um, with, okay, so I started with, I sprayed my face. Of course, I cleaned it last night and I woke up this morning and I did do a quick little wet washcloth wipe over. And then I sprayed it with some Evian to just start building some moisture. And then I, um, I use this, and I got these from Ms. Vicky. If you don't follow her, you should. She's she's awesome, and she did a skincare video uh, a week, maybe a week ago. I'm not sure. Anyway, and she recommended this skin brightening and anti-aging serum with tran examic acid. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I started with some of that. It's a serum, and then I put some red raspberry seed oil, which I also got at. Vicky's request. I actually followed her link on her skincare video. And then I um, I put popped in a little bit of Lumify, one drop in each eye. It helps your eyes look a little wider. And then I put some lip treatment, which is just the CeraVe or CeraVe um, ointment. The healing ointment skin protectant. I put it on my lips and then I don't have chapped lips, which are usually a problem for me in the winter. And then I put some CeraVe uh, Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30 on and I let that all sink in while I added some curls to my second day hair. So we're ready for foundation and my favorite drugstore foundation is the Revlon Color Stay and I'm going to use 180, which is sand beige. It has a really nice, I like the tone to it. It's not yellow, it's not pink. It's just kind of there. I guess it's maybe neutral, I don't know. And then I also add just a, just a tiny bit of this early tan, just to make it just a little bit darker. And I should have just put that on my hand and done that, but I didn't, so we're just gonna go with it. I try to spread it out and then go back in and blend. And this brush that I'm using is a Japanese. It was on clearance last year at Walmart. It's a good brush. It's triangle shaped and it's very dense. It Cosmetics makes one quite similar to it. My big mirror right here and it also lights up when I get in front of it okay and so I put it on with the brush and then I wet my my real technique sponge and and go over it again I'm really I heavily rely on this Evian water when I get ready okay so now I'm just gonna make sure there aren't any brush strokes and also, I think it, I think it melts it into your, it pushes it into your skin. And it also removes any excess that you might have. So I've ordered a new um, high, high end, not luxury, but high end, the new Estee Lauder foundation. And I'm waiting for it to come in. I'm really excited about that. Now we're gonna go on to concealer and it's the so that I don't have to like look at it I wrote it over here if I can find it it's the uh, covergirl true blend concealer and it's the one with the little stripes on the end and I got it in L 400 and M 400 no W 400 so I guess that's light and medium I don't know and so this one is more peachy it's a little almost too dark dark of a peach 
is dab away. Oh, I forgot. I always put a little bit right here where I had a pre-skin cancer and they scooped it out years ago and now I have no, no pigment there at all. And this one's quite a bit lighter, as you'll see. I just, oh, I'm probably adding too much. It really doesn't take much of this stuff. Why not? We'll just, we'll go the whole nine yards. Gosh, that was too much for sure. We'll see. Yep, too much. Y'all, I am a hot mess most of the time. And this one dries kind of fast. You can't leave it on to warm up and and so that it blends well or anything. So. You better get after it. Get after the blending. Look at that, boy. You guys, somebody out there is going, get that up there on your forehead. That's what I do when I'm watching somebody and they don't see it. Like, oh no, you missed it. Okay, all right, foundation, concealer on. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the face portion. <clears throat> Excuse me, and now we're gonna go into bronzer, and I have a couple of bronzers. I have the Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease. It's just, I don't know how long I've had this thing. <laughs> Long time. I don't have a whole lot of drugstore bronzers. I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush for bronzer. So this one is a little warmer and um, has a little bit of shimmer to it. But it's pretty. It's, it's a nice little bronzer. It's not too orangey or anything. Just a little. I'm not going to contour with this down here though because I don't like shimmer under there. Just a little bit right there. I have the clean towel in my lap. So in between powders, I, I rub it on the clean towel. Okay, so then I'm gonna put that brush down and I have an Eco Tools one like this. And I'm gonna use it with the, for to contour. It's the three NYX, three NYX NYX, I'm not sure. Three steps to sculpt in fair. So I'm gonna go into that contoury color. And put it where you put contour. Taking Little Bear to the vet today. Meeting my parents, so her sister will be there too. We just go at the same time whenever their appointment, whenever it's time for their appointment. Okay, so I'm gonna make this, this one thin. I'm gonna go in and try to do a little bit of something on my nose. Sometimes I'll just do what I usually do. Usually I'll just, I'll go one time into that and then I'll go like this. I don't do a whole lot. Some, sometimes that's all I'll do to my eyes. Okay, and then I have an e.l.f. Con, uh, can't think, a highlighter. I don't know, it looks like that. It doesn't really have a lot of writing on it. Well, it has something. Can you see that? I don't know. And then I have an e.l.f. blush brush. No, that's not what I'm using. I need my highlighter. I don't know where my highlight brush is. 
issues. So I'm just gonna do what I, I actually, I, a lot of the time I'll do this anyway, so I just get a little bit on my finger. I use fingers a lot. Can you guys even see that? If you're scared of highlighter and scared of it getting everywhere, the finger gives you a lot of control. And you're like buffing it in too. Actually, yeah, I actually like the finger a lot better. Okay, so Cupid's bow a little bit. And I'll go to my pinky and go just a little bit right here on the end of the nose. I know a lot of makeup artists, they, they hate to see that, but I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know, I think it looks okay. I think it brings back a little bit of life to your face after you've put all that foundation on. Then I have Fit Me Blush in, let me see, I wrote it down in Pink Rose number 25 Maybelline and my e.l.f. blush brush. I am a blush girl, so I like to put my highlighter on first and then go over it with the blush. I think a lot of young girls today don't like a lot of blush. Probably because they make they make their own blush right now. My niece told me this. She said, put a little bit of blush on your nose. It makes it look like the sun hits you. I'm like, yeah, I do that with the bronzer. I'll try it with the blush. So there it is with the blush. And then a lot of the time when I have a little leftover, I'll just go ahead and put that up here too. Okay, there's that. And now it's time. Oh, I need to set that concealer before I go into my eyes. And I have the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock. It's just a translucent. It's kind of like the Makeup Forever one. And then I have this Real Techniques. I really like this one for all my powder work. So I get some like on all sides of my brush and I tap it off. And I set all this first because to get it ready for the eyeshadow. And then I go under here because it sets that concealer and it helps make your, your texture disappear. Whew. Okay, and then I will go just T-zone. So I go right here, but I leave that tip so that it's shiny. And y'all, I do, I do makeup that lasts all day. I won't touch this again all day. This will last. So it looks a little bit powdery, but not really too bad, but it won't. At the end, I'm gonna do that Evian. Okay, we're gonna go to eyes. Stay on target, Kim. Actually, let's do lips. I have lips written down, so I'm gonna do lips. So I've found something that is, I'm kind of excited about this one. See, I just bought it yesterday. Just discovered it yesterday. I think I heard somebody talking about these suede NYX NYX suede lip liners. And I'm always looking for one to replace my, let me just show it to you, my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Because it's, you know, it's expensive. This one is pretty close. I don't know, can you see that? Not really. You can see that this one, the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more reddish or pinkish a little bit, but it's still pretty brown. This one's a little bit more brown, but I like it. some foundation on there but it'll be okay I kind of like to go kind of straight across here I don't have as you can see the greatest fullest lips so I like to really claim any skin that is part of my lips I really claim it with this lip liner So 
So kind of my lip, my lip color a little bit, but a little bit amped up. And then usually what I'll do is I'll get a Q-tip and I'll go like that just to make sure it's blended in. If I ever do retouch, it's it's lip liner and gloss. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Milani Keep It Full in Natural Luster. This one feels good and it wears off good. This is when it wears off. It leaves these little micro glimmers which reflect light and make your smaller lips look a little bit bigger and fuller. Not really bigger, but maybe a little bit fuller. And then I love, love, love this Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette. I'm gonna open it and then I'll show it to you. Look at how pretty that is. It has a black and it has a transition color. It has a light. Yeah. So we're gonna go with that. And then I have a couple of brushes that I grabbed their drugstore, I'm not sure what, maybe Milani. This one says Milani. I'm not sure, this is something I got at Walgreens in a, like a travel kit. So we're gonna go in with this fluffy one first and do, do this transition color. Right here, right above my crease. Just go all the way up under with that. But Sorry, I had a phone call that thought I had turned off my phone. And then I'm going to go in just with my fingers, and I'm going to go into this one, which is kind of a, I don't know, a peachy, bronzy. And just put it on. Both sides. And I'm going to go in with my, with my pinky into this really light one. Put it right here. I could have done all this with brushes, but I, I find that these shimmers look pretty when you, they're more impactful when you put them on with your fingers. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. angled liner. I guess, I don't know, that's what it's called. I could do this, this dark brown one, but I think I'm gonna just go right into the black. Okay, so sometimes when you're over 50, you know, or whatever, mature, um, sometimes when you put this on, it skips. And so what I do is I just go like this and I, I blend it with my pinky to make sure that it got in all the little grooves. So what I think I'll do with this reddish brown right here, I could also do it with that pretty, um, like khaki, olive, whatever, green. That would actually, I kind of wish I had done that now, but I didn't. And I really, I banged that off a little bit because I don't want too, too much down here.
Okay, I think I'll take this other brush that I never have used yet and I'm gonna go into this light under the brow type highlighty color. Oh, and here's another problem. Sometimes when you put that in there right there, you can see that there's like, there was some skin that had wrinkled up a little bit. <laughs> and so you have to look at it and really kind of press it into the gaps. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna assume that I have gaps everywhere and just do it. I, I saw that I had a little bit here. Okay. So there's that. And then my favorite part that I cannot quit. I cannot quit you, eyeliner. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering. I just go ahead and shut my eye and go like that. And that white gets at the base of all my lashes. And then I go like that. I know I'm probably too old for this, but I don't care. I do what I want. I do what I want even more now that I'm getting older. I don't care. I just don't care. Okay, so now I'm excited about this. I bought this. I made a, actually a haul video yesterday and showed you this, but I haven't posted it yet, so you haven't seen it. Maybe I'll post it before I post this one. This one's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify Primer. I've never even seen it. Usually I don't have luck with primers, but I really like the Lash Blast, so, and it came it came together with it, which was cool. So here's, you know what? I wanna do, I'm sorry. I meant to do brows first. Hot Mess Kim, that's what my name really should be. This is the NYX Ash Brown Micro Pencil. Brow pencil thingy. I like mine to look full and bushy. Kind of bushy. Always have. I like to put it on and then I know there's a brush a spoolie on the other end of that but I just like this one I think this is an elf one it's, it's my favorite okay and then I just bought this too this is the Maybelline brow fast sculpt in medium brown I've actually never used it this will be the first time so I'm just gonna run it through this way without trying to brush them up just to deposit a little bit of that color. But then I'm gonna come here and fluff them out. I don't know. That got a little bit dark. And I don't I don't touch it now. If I touch it now, it's gonna push that color into my skin. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll just flake it off a little bit. Okay, time for mascara. This lip gloss feels so good. That Milani, if you don't have it, you should try it. And I'm not really sure, do you let, I never know if I'm supposed to let the primer dry before I put the mascara on. And I read, I looked for instructions, but there were none on the packaging. I don't know, for the sake of this video, I think I'm gonna have to just go on in with the mascara, because I'm probably getting wrong. You think, Kim? I always go wrong. I can put this on pretty quick, but I can't film putting it on very quick. So now we're going in with this one, which is just the Lash Blast Volume. I like 
to concentrate at the base. Well, so far so good. It's not my Dior show, but it's pretty good. I'll take it for a drugstore. Drugstore has gotten a lot better. I don't know why they wouldn't. There's so much money to be made in the beauty market. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my new fan. So I got this. I actually followed Vicky's link and um, got this fan that I've been wanting for a long time, too, on Amazon. And nothing that she had listed was was um, was very expensive, so I, I had some fun following her links. Okay, this is what I do to finish. I get it pretty wet. And this feels some... Um, different. Usually I would drag out my hair dryer and do this. Or I have a card. My aunt gave me a card for my birthday last year and I've been keeping it here to fan myself with it. She's really good about the birthday cards. She always has been. She loves to get them and she loves to give them. I need to be on the lookout for a good one for her birthday coming up. Okay, that's pretty dry. And so that also dried my mascara so that I can go in with one final coat and then we will call her done. I see a big droplet of water. It didn't dry right here, but it will. That's my drugstore makeup. Thanks for hanging out with me.